My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Yes, it has a Hemi. It's got a 572 crate Hemi motor under the hood, underneath that Ram Charger hood. And there's a pistol grip five speed sitting on the hump there. It's got a Dana 60 rear end. And when you look under the car, it's all restored because this thing was flipped on a rotisserie and completely restored from the bottom up. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study the pictures. That's where you'll find the prices are listed, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred cars all for sale, all collector cars. If you enjoy watching the videos, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you will be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, buckle up. Let's go for a spin and a 70 Roadrunner Hemi. So this is a real uh, Roadrunner. The Hemi was added. It was a 383 car originally. Uh, underneath the car, like I said, it was flipped on a rotisserie. This was all done around 2008. I have a stack of receipts that go with the car. Uh, the fellow that's owned it since then has done a lot of work, a lot of improvements. So it's only gotten better over the last few years. Uh, but the floors, to me, they looked original. If someone replaced floors, they're, they're good at what they do because uh, it all looked factory. I didn't see any patches. Uh, all the, the ribs and braces and frame rails and seams, everything was just nice, dry, clean metal. Even up behind the tires, you can look at our pictures online, up behind here, it's all clean metal. It's all painted orange, the color of the car. The front end has a, a PST rebuild kit. It all looks like it's been replaced. It all was replaced. The spindles, the bushings, the you know, steering components, all that was replaced in the front end. The rear suspension's all rebuilt as well. Uh, it's got KYB gas shocks all the way around it. It was drum brakes in, originally, so they rebuilt the brakes and they upgraded it to uh, disc in front and they upgraded it to power. So it's power front disc brakes. I think the emergency brake cable assembly is all hooked up, but you can look in the pictures to verify that. Uh, it's got a great sounding Flowmaster dual exhaust system. Uh, fuel system was replaced, the tank, the straps, all that still looks real nice. You look up at the motor, it's still spotless. The oil pan, the bolts holding in the oil pan, the block, it's not greasy, grimy, it, it still looks practically new. Uh, it has the flywheel cover. I have the receipt, Kiesler, if I'm pronouncing it right, Kiesler uh, transmissions. Uh, they sell like the whole kit uh, to convert it to a five speed. Now they upgrade the Tremec five speed. They put heavier duty parts, uh, comes with the clutch kit, the whole conversion is one package that was all bought new. They have the receipt for that. Uh, the rear end is a Dana 60. I have the receipt for that too. It's a Mosier rear end. All of that was new uh, when they restored the car. So it's a Dana uh, 60, uh, which is a heavy duty rear end. Uh, correct for the uh, Hemi with the stick shift. 35 spline axles, all new bearing kit. Uh, the bearings alone were like 750 bucks. Uh, and it's got 373 traction lock gears in it. So underneath the car, A-OK. -okay. It's got a nice stance. Uh, the Kreger wheels and tires, they're more recent because they had the original style wheels on it when he bought it. Uh, they look brand new. That's their 15 inch, they're nice and beefy sized tires, uh, especially in the back. The body is really nice. I just looked down both sides uh, before we started and ran my hand all along there. There's no bubbles or blisters that I found. All the gaps are square. This hood sits up just a touch. Now it doesn't. Uh, so yeah, everything fits nice and square. It does have the Ram Charger hood that opens. I'll demonstrate that when I start the car. It has hood pins. Uh, it's painted Hemi Orange. These stripes are painted on. Up front, the whole grill, bumper, trim, all the front end is really excellent. I like the 1970. I like the stripes they offer. This is called the Dust Trail. It has the Roadrunner with his trail of dust 
goes down the side, and I think these are reflective. At night, I think the light will reflect off of those. Uh, door handles, the mirror has been replaced, good original glass, windshields new, vinyl top is excellent. The stainless trim has been replaced, but to be honest with you, whoever put it on, this side looks good. It's one little dimple here, uh, but on the other side, someone must have beat on it with a hammer and put some dents. There's a dent right here. So there's a few dimples in the trim. It has the rear spoiler, obviously. It has this blackout treatment. The rear bumper looks chromed, uh, like it's been re-chromed. has the nice exhaust tips. This has the pop-out little windows here. The moldings, emblems, all that's real nice. The vent window chrome, excellent. Door jams are nice. It has the original sticker with the VIN number on it. Uh, inside the car. Pretty much restored from carpet to headliner. Down on the floor, it does have new carpet. Roadrunner mats has that pistol grip shifter, and it has the five-speed indicator has been updated on top of the handle. Seats are reupholstered front and back. New door panels, armrests, window cranks, handles. The black metal's been repainted. Now, this motor was a crate motor from Mopar. Back in 08, the motor, the short block, was over $17,000 because I have the brochure. And it, uh, the original Hemi was 426. These are 472s. And the originals were four and a quarter horsepower. This is 525 horsepower and 540 pounds of torque. Nice thing is it's nine to one compression. It'll run on premium pump gas. And on top, it's got a Mopar aluminum intake with a single uh, dual feed Holly carburetor. And I see it's got a set of headers. The headliner is new and tight as a drum. The dome light works, the visors, the mirror are excellent. The whole dash area is real nice. It's not broken or drilled or cut. It has the original AM radio, has the original rally gauges in there. They did do a little touch up on the dash. They repainted the silver around the gauges. So it looks nice, but it's not new. And I apologize, the key for the trunk went missing. I've seen in there, and actually there's a receipt for a restored correct jack. It's got the spare, it's got the mat, it's all painted orange. You have to refer to our pictures uh, as soon as we get the trunk open again. Uh, uh, so I can't show you that right now, but it's real nice. Steering wheels, the original, there's no cracks or anything. It's just a little worn. Uh, yeah, dash is nice. Back to the engine compartment, beautiful chrome valve covers, and every, everything looks new. Uh, an MSD uh, blaster coil, uh, chrome pulleys, chrome alternator. The uh, brake booster is shiny. Batteries bolted down properly. Has the original fender tag. The VIN number up here on the core support matches the car. Has this RAM charger system, and it is complete, and it works. Uh, all the components, the washer bottle, the purple Roadrunner beep beep horn. I'll, I'll demonstrate that, too. But everything in here is nice, and all the metal is nice and square and painted nicely. I think it's time we start it up. Got the rear spoiler. Just a good looking, tough looking car. Grabber. Now, of course, these old cars can embarrass you. They will, but it's not working now, but it was working. So we will be updating the pictures with the air grabber working and with the trunk open.
the air grabber didn't work but that is impressive that sound that idle that snappiness that was freaking awesome uh, when I bought this car the guy who went and picked it up for me drove it over an hour he's doing highway speeds the car really ran and drove and shifted great so there you have it you can go to volocars.com plenty of ways to contact our salesman I just gave you my impression of this car if you have specific concerns or questions, uh, feel free to talk to the salesman. They will assist you the best they can. Uh, they can get this car delivered to your driveway. We can get you financed. Go to volocars.com if you're interested in this car. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.